<laughs> he adopted the local Waramai Aboriginal name for ta- uh, for uh, plenty fish, plenty yes. of fish. So they obviously yeah. helped him with a breakup there. Yeah, uh, you know? <laughs> Hello and welcome along to the community notice board. Go. Welcome right. to another episode of Community Notice Board, a podcast about local communities, where we grew up, local landmarks, and the legends we can't seem to forget. I am one of your nerd and geek hosts. I am Jamie Kirk, joined by prior. the very <laughs> <laughs> wonderful Riff Machine. Uh, Andrew Bensley. And <laughs> well, you were just going to say my name there. <laughs> 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 so Alex White. Uh, I swooped uh, in. I'll wow. take like that. the Riff Machine. <laughs> I put out my hand because I thought he might get confused to being labelled a Riff Machine <laughs> and freak out and do something wrong. And uh, my beautiful friend. Alex Thanks, Wyatt. And today we have a very special guest. We are joined by Stokes from Harrowing Films. Yes. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm very good. Thank you, boys. Well, thank you, thank you for having me. Of course, man. Yes, absolutely. We're pumped. I love to be here. I yeah. mean, I'm here. But you also love being here. I love him you know, <laughs> being here as well. <laughs> <laughs> not on any duress or any. We didn't no, it's fine. Thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for saving me, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. All right. So, so uh, Stokesy, you are from Foster. I'm from Foster. Beautiful. Foster, mid-north coast. Yes, area. the town, the time, the town, the time forgot. <laughs> the time <laughs> forgot. Yes. The town forgot time. You yeah. know, a lot of other people forgot about it. But uh, Yeah, very, very beachy. Yeah. Yeah, very coastal. Beautiful. And um, when, were you, when were you in Foster? I was in Foster growing up like teenage years i guess oh, yeah the, the golden golden years. years the golden years everything yes. the world is in front of oh, you, you think the world was a, an oyster <laughs> <laughs> you think it can only get better L- from literally here, an oyster had oysters <laughs> <laughs> there was an oyster farm up there i believe <laughs> 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 all right Perfect. yeah a bit of a career move up there <laughs> my uh, my grandparents lived there for a, a short time yeah uh, in the in the land that time forgot and i tried to call my nan today a short time yeah in in the land that time forgot and i tried to call my nan today just to like see if i get any hot tips off yeah. her and she didn't answer yeah, she's too busy. Well, she's the mm. grandma that her grandson forgot. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> do with me. She <laughs> just sees your name come up. <laughs> she hang up. And she's, she's like, uh, he's, he's yeah. going to talk about a fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Down it goes. Right, because I always, ca- they had t-shirts. I remember they had t-shirts and they had um, stubby holders when they came back because it was weird. It was like maybe even less than a year. They were just gone. And I was like little kids. So I was like, where's, where's Nat and Stan? And then they came back and they just had these new beer coasters that said Foster Tongue Curry. Nice. And I was like, okay, that's a place. That it exists. is a place. And so yeah. It's always <laughs> Foster Tongue Curry in my head. But yeah, Tongue Curry, Foster. It's a bridge that separates it. It's okay, probably about... Aubrey Wodonga situation, yeah, but without the yeah. state border. Yeah, because yeah. it's two little towns. Like it's two little towns. They're a small rivalry, not a huge one. Yeah. Because it's only... The bridge is basically... 15 meters long I guess you could say. <laughs> so it's no huge division i uh i was looking doing a bit of research on foster and apparently they only built a bridge in like the 60s or 1959 so until yep. that point they were just like yeah throwing rocks at each other. Like, <laughs> just like get back here you yeah. know like, like spartans yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what, challenging yeah <laughs> The Tongue Curry guys. So, yeah. so what yeah. is that rivalry based on? Like, why is Foster uh, one of them being like dumb cunts and they're yeah, like, no, just we're not. Or is there any difference now between the makeup? Is like one the tourist side, one the old people side, or I is it sort of? I think it's just uh, pride <laughs> <laughs> in the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's localism, yeah, it's yeah. Crazy tribalism. How, <laughs> it's crazy how much that figures into every shitty small yeah, town. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. It's where you live, like. Forster sounds pretty cool. Tongue curry sounds shit. Tongue well, curry, w- it, it, it's 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 got a meaning. I think. Yeah, oh, I've plenty of fish. I yeah. believe. So, what are my people? Yes, uh, John Wright. He, they called him Big Boss or First Fella, which is like that's the best fucking name. That's right. First Fella oh, is amazing. If the indigenous guy ever called me First Fella, I'd be yeah. like. Fuck yeah! You know, I'm yeah. so pumped. Yeah. And then uh, he adopted the local Waramai Aboriginal name for ta- uh, for uh, plenty fish, plenty yes. of fish. So they obviously yeah. helped him with a breakup there. Yeah, uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the Waramai. Damn, you that wrote, you wrote that one in advance. Didn't you? <laughs> I'm like, I got one gag in this one. Uh, but uh, yeah, then. Uh, and then he was a shipbuilder and stuff like that. So then, and Foster was some English prick or whatever. I don't, didn't get into that. Yeah, but, yeah. But he went yeah. into our beer making my statement. I reckon Tunko is a way better name. Yeah, than, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm trying to not get cancelled over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. I mean, it's a pretty it's sweet gotta, name. Gotta yeah. isolate that as a clip. <laughs> Tongue curry shit. Drew thought it was like a racist Indian thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was like Thursday night at the bowl. It was yeah. Tongue curry night. You know? I'm gonna get on the front foot and declare this as uh, unwoke. The Tongue curry completely <laughs> got it backwards. You 
Oh, so what did, when you grew up there, did you? Um, is there like as a kid drinking and stuff in that in that area? Is it is it like house party shit, or you're sneaking into the pub? What what are you doing? You know? It's basically lurking, <laughs> lurking around. Fuck but yeah. every summer, mm. the carnival would come to town, oh. yes. yeah. and I'm talking dusty, rickety. Rides, beautiful show bags, yeah, shit. Absolutely. Yeah, dag with dogs. Dag with dogs that are about four years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Four years yeah, they drag this carnival from I don't know where, but uh, it, so it becomes the spot. Yeah. Yeah. I never really figured out yeah. until probably too late that you know they talk about carnies and mm-hmm. then every town and it's this. I didn't really put it together in my head that it was the same people who would go from town yeah, to town. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I thought it was yeah. like the <laughs> yeah. Newcastle count count like carnies would be like. <laughs> Right, the carnival's here. One day, work yeah, it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they all come out from under the bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, like, I think it's. I think it's one group. Yeah, or one family it's of goes carnies, all and they around. travel. It's so yeah, and they drag crazy. their tumbleweed I know. covered. Oh, and that's why there were so prizes <laughs> around. And just like we used to go there and like just be assholes and stuff, and they had no time for anyone. Yeah, and there was no customers. Like you'd oh, be cheeky, not. and they'd be like, "Fuck off," yeah, you know. Yeah, they yeah. didn't care because they're like. I mean, this is my, you know, this is like I'm traveling from this shitty town to the next one. I don't know any of this shit, you know. Yeah, and there was an, uh, with the carnies, there was just like a kind of an air of arrogance, mm-hmm. an aura of, yeah, of arrogance yeah. that they were better than us because <laughs> <laughs> they were employed yeah. and which really it did rub a few people the wrong way. <laughs> there was a lot of uh, locals versus carny issues. <laughs> Uh, That's really brought Tun Curry and Foster together. Yeah. Well, yeah. In, 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 in those enemy. moments, yes, yeah. yes. Let's yeah. build a bridge and then we'll fight That's the That's inspiring. Carnage. United, the United. From Foster and yeah. Tun Curry just locking arms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Wikipedia page of Foster. It's like the Great Foster Tun Curry Carney War. Dude, <laughs> I know, and it's been it's been ongoing for <laughs> Allegiance decades. On side, casualties on the other. I used to yeah. Yeah. fuck around yeah. with. Because like they all used to come for the Easter show, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Medalist, yeah. Didn't they? My favorite thing to do is like, because I had never been. My first Easter show was 2000 because I moved here in 1999. And I was like, the first time I went, I was like, this is fucking sick. Cause I, I got a Video Easy show bag for like 20 bucks. Amazing. And fucking Romeo awesome. must die in it on VHS. <laughs> yeah. so yes. I was like, what a flick. I was like, we no, got to bring it back. back. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I was like, I was like, this is a little slice of heaven brought right to Homebush, you know? Tony shows up the next week to an empty Homebush. He's trying to return his I'm sorry, I'm a day late. I wanted to watch it one more time. And it's not rewound, I'm sorry. But we used to go, because like, obviously like the carnies, like their job is to like get you to play the games and stuff. So sure. you're like walking through and they're like being like, come yeah. on champion, like throw the, ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. And they'd like yeah. always like do the fake parts. So like we used to walk past and be like, yeah, yeah, mate. And then they'd like throw it and we'd just dodge the ball and <laughs> just go all the way across. And they'd be so mad. You'd be like, well, you gotta go get that, man. Like I wasn't <laughs> asking for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I got a, a day with video easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's some heavy spruiking going on. It's a carny yeah, code, yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 We yeah. used to get spruiked. There was one ride. And this dude would be like, ride, ride. Who wants a ride? <laughs> this rickety old. Oh, so when you say there was one ride, you mean there was one ride? Well, one legitimate <laughs> ride. Like, it was pretty shit, man. Like, it was, it was kind of like the scraps of yeah. the Easter show from 19... 19- they they rebuilt it, (laughs) drag it around. Did Did you have the? Was it the teacup? It was this. It was a spinny, like sketchy. You spin as it goes around. I know the one. And you could hear, you could hear like the octopus. Was it or something? I think it's octopus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think they renamed it. I don't know, something tech. <laughs> yeah. The squid, the squid maybe. The squid. Yeah. The squid. Yeah. It's coming up on 2000, so yeah. they were like yeah. Y2 Squid. We have to rebrand it. Yeah. 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 Too many more money suits. To re- <laughs> yeah, that We can uh, repaint it, repair it, or we can give it a new name. Like one yeah. or three. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh, dude, you could hear like the the mechanisms just oh. buckling, eh? Yeah. Oh, just yeah. like spinning around, just hoping not to fly back to Foster. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Tunkari. So it could have been a conspiracy by the Tunkari guys yeah, yeah, loosening yeah, the bolts yeah, at yeah. night. <laughs> just to f- go back to where you <laughs> where you go back to where you belong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get a cab home. Some, uh, some of them look like they're held together with like BMX chains and oh, shit. Dude, you know it's, so I mean? like, it's, just, <laughs> oh, it's so sketchy. It's so sketchy. The guy's running has just got a can of WD-40 and oh, that's it. That's yeah, his whole yeah, toolkit. That's his paycheck for the whole car for the whole summer. It's coming out of his pocket if he spends any money. So was that drinking like uh, and and getting a bit silly? Yeah, it was. A, there yeah, it was there? pretty easy to get booze in with kids, man. Because um, there's like a pretty big population of middle-aged like burnouts that live there, <laughs> yeah. right? That are all like kind of 
like on the run from Centrelink, <laughs> you know, thongs, <laughs> mullet, just divorced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so really I'm good, really good dudes. Yeah. And um, <laughs> they just, just a fourteen year old hero. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, well, yeah. well, they, they were yes, they, like the, they well, that was what we could aspire to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was kind of sad in a, in <laughs> yeah, a way. Yeah, but but they would buy us booze. We would just sit outside the bottle shop, and. For a fee, yeah. that would buy us booze. <laughs> like give us either a sip or oh, five dollars, or time. or if they bought us durries, wow. you have to give them a couple. I mean, mate, so, and it was the cunt who gets away with a sip has been ripped off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You bought us a case, yeah. you can have one sip, and we're watching it. Well, <laughs> it, 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 that's a level of burnout. So the yeah, biggest yeah. burnout. We, the kids, we had the power. We like, just, we'll that's give you a sip you, if you get it. That's how you end up in, in Foster as a burnout is you have the negotiating skills to get done by 14 year olds. You know, like, oh, yeah. there's no other option. There's no like, other option. You know, I'll give yeah. me one bottle. I'll give you a sip. All right. You they, know, they, like, you know, I can't negotiate up from here with absolutely. this poor kid. They're pretty got, broken men. So like, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. kind of, Surely, like, one of these guys is, like, the condition on me buying the booze is I get to party with you tonight, For right? sure. Right. That was always a, a danger. That's, <laughs> yeah, us. That, to me, is the most... Ra- I'd be like, how about you take a hundred? Because there's a lot of people in those small coastal towns <laughs> yeah. that... They're, they're in their fifties. They're in their sixties, but they they just want to be cool and hang out with the like the, the that, cool. Kids. That is absolutely and it's so correct. Sad. It's very yeah. sad, and they, they it's the party never end ended. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they're always yeah. the ones they walk into the bowling club. Yeah, and and someone goes. Fucking Steve's here again. You, you know always I mean? know him like, by first oh, names. For sure. And, and they know all the bartenders by first name. Yeah, yeah. He's for sure been, he's got some bands. He's got bands. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few yeah. times. You got to know. know he's, oh, you know describe my Steve. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like Steve. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah it, like it's funny in Foster, there was kind of like a hive for them. There was a caravan park. It was called Smuggler's Cove. Oh, I've been to Smuggler's <laughs> Cove. You have what? been. I have. Have you? Yes. And now I. <laughs> I didn't know it was... Uh, Sounds like a Star Wars ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're like Obi-Wan's, like yeah. a greater hive of scum and villainy it's, I've never seen. It is a hive of scum and villainy. My, one of my mates was dating a girl whose parents had a cabin there, I think. Or yeah. was a caravan yeah. with like an extension, you know? like Oh, the annex. Oh, oh, the okay. annex. <laughs> yeah, the big end of town. Yeah, 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 it's a exactly. caravan with log wallpaper. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and then well, like my mate was like, come up. Um, you know, my you know, missus is there and, and it's going to be sick. We'll have a great time. And in the end, we just slept in what effectively was one big room while my mate rooted his missus. <laughs> like, the like There's no there. escape in the and sound of like, that. What is going on? Like, this is the worst. We would have been like 19 or 20, but it was fucking smugglers. Code. That's crazy. Jesus. Yeah, man. I would never forget that fucking name. And that yeah. was a burnout. Was that it? was the hive, yeah. <laughs> so people like lived there and then a couple of people maybe went there on vacation. Yeah, th- I think they would kind of... Take out, take out the burnouts during Christmas holidays. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. They probably went to work at the carnival, hid them there somewhere, <laughs> as a maybe winner as a prize. <laughs> <laughs> All those guys are booking flights to Gold Coast. They're toolies. You yeah, know? man. Like they're, they're oh, going 100%. Down there. <laughs> 100%. But the worst thing, oh, man, it's not the worst thing. The best thing about Smuggler's Cove is that they had named the streets oh, great. after fish. So you'd have like John Dory fucking oh. Avenue <laughs> <laughs> and, and Flathead Boulevard. Flathead Boulevard. <laughs> and there was a roundabout and it was called Flounder Around. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah. And we stole the sign. That's great. We oh, had to that, have it, yeah. It was up in some Sona's house for years. <laughs> yeah. Flounder, Flounder around. around. Yeah, and that's what they started with, then they just had to continue in the fish. That was the peak of the fish yeah, name. For sure. you know, yeah, oh, it was yeah. the creativity was yeah, just yeah, off yeah, the charge. Yeah. But the funniest thing about that is that their address would have been seven John Dory Crescent yeah, Smugglers yeah. Cove. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, can you stop? Just you get to the third flounder around yeah. and you yeah. take a ride. Yeah. <laughs> it's like down Haddock fucking place. Someone, what kind yeah, of pirate yeah. are you? Like, <laughs> stop living, <laughs> embellishing your own life by living in. You live not in a, a caravan. Lot, not a lot of fucking treasure chests. No smugglers car. Zero treasure chests. <laughs> lady from like no, RMS. No is jewels. It's like fucking like. You know, it's 12 Smugglers Co. Paradise Flounders, and she's like, all right, come on. Like, it was just a prank call, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, do I dress it a Mr. Hawk, do I? You yeah, know? Like, 100%. Oh, that's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so that was like, yeah. Is, that's that got to be hive. some, like, uh, function of the local council just being like, we've got to have something, you know? Yeah. We've got to have yeah. something to entice the, the, the folks to come move here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just end up with a bunch of pirate wannabes. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah just the burnout. So, yeah, that was the, and like, sh- and you the know alcoholic sure legion. there's a guy... Who lives there? Who has a medical eye patch? 
but he's the fucking king of smuggling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> one hook, yeah, peg hook, leg, yeah, yeah. and thong, as one thong on his peg leg. <laughs> <laughs> just flapping around, eh? Just With a fucking around. magpie of <laughs> bird on his yeah, yeah, shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to super glue his peg to his thong <laughs> yeah. as well. <laughs> Shuffling around it asking if anyone's seen his treasure and it's just a stash of needles behind his carriage. <laughs> <laughs> and that's 100% like the only treasure you would find. Or yeah. like the blackest old bong. <laughs> you've ever seen like <laughs> just <laughs> abused bomb <laughs> oh yeah I'll, I think we'll chuck it out now like yeah, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking resin <laughs> islands <laughs> 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 yeah so you might be lucky to find treasure yeah, yeah one day oh, right. yeah so that sort of do, like is that uh, environment what inspired it of the harrowing film stuff because yes yes I um I don't know like when I first, the first one I saw was probably the mo- the one that everyone that you I, saw. I first. watch it like once a week. But fucking the fucking the heat thank scene. you, man. Thank you. Oh, was that yeah. the one that went big for you? Like, was that the big like? Because I remember air around. Yeah, 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 I think so. I just, I think just because um, like my mate Toby from Brown Cardian like posted it up. And yeah, then, right. And then it just it was never meant to be anything. It was just you mucking around. It just been mucking yeah, around. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's standing in because I made up like a bartender one because I was bartending, and then um yeah just. I'd make him at 4 a.m. just on my phone. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Fall asleep, wake up and go, edit it. Send it. No script, nothing. Wow. <laughs> Never That's scripted so anything, man. Oh. It's just, but yeah, a lot of it come, like, it's... Where did you find it? Like, I always, because I yeah. dead set, I've, like, I've sent it to everyone I know, um, and I'm, the fucking, the characters of, the, uh, the heat seekers and like oh those sunburnt unit. Yeah. <laughs> where the fuck did you find dude that? I just like I just google like sunburnt <laughs> unit <himself. laughs> like, the, the worst head you've ever seen yeah. <laughs> and then I, but then I started google delivered yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and I would just go most sunburnt was the, where I found those. Yeah. Oh. I couldn't believe some of these people, man. Yeah, so they just funny. absolutely cooked. But there, yeah, that comes from like Foster as well. Yeah, just yeah. like oh, sunburns with like your sun, sunny fucking skin. Oh, and shit. dude, people would get just <laughs> barnacled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know the word. Damn, it's That's a word, but <laughs> it is now. <laughs> barnacled. Just, just, just cook, exactly. cooked to a crisp. Yeah. 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 yeah, and just like just drinking all day. Drinking, yeah. sitting in the sun, Fishing. melting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's great. That's because it's like it's people who never leave a holiday because that's a great holiday. But you're a couple of days, yeah, maybe a week, not four you years. Don't you know want I mean? to like, live there. No, yeah. no, no. It's just yeah. too much. But yeah. like, yeah, absolutely. And like the people, I mean, it's a small town thing. Is that people who don't leave? They so adamant. They praise it. Like, this is yeah. God's country. Yeah. Why would you leave? Yeah, yeah. God's country. You God's want. country. <laughs> I live in God's country. I'm like, fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you just never left. <laughs> like it's fucking. That's that's like, I think everyone has an experience like that in their lives, and like the fork in the road is deciding not to act on it, and Absolutely. like that's like that's the path to being like a full mature adult versus stunted fuckwit. Like, Absolutely. I, 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 I went down yeah. to fuck. Where did I? I went for a wedding. Um, I think it's Hamilton Island. Uh, like it's North Queensland. Right. I can't, fuck. I can't remember where it was now. I'm drawing a blank, but like. Every time I went down there, like, I went down there with a mate because, like, my wife was like, I'm not fucking coming. And I was like, all right, fair enough. And we stayed in the hotel. (laughs) (laughs) And, like, we just, like, fell in love with it immediately. Like, we were in this, like, nice-ish hotel. And, like, down the road was, like, this shitty pub on a motorway called Banjos. And it (laughs) opened at, like, nine every day. And we were the only cunts in there. At nine. Yeah. And they, yeah. Because we had nothing to do. So, like, there were certainly $4.50 super drives. And we're like, sick. Mate, we should come. We should get a holiday house here. <laughs> yeah. We and should then, move here. Yeah, and then we would go down to like the coast where like, and then like all the people there were operating boats and stuff, like just yeah. doing tour, like because it got like a lot of tourists in yeah. from um from like Japan and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. and so they were all just people like, yeah, mate, came down here for a holiday. You loved it. <laughs> Never left. Was like just, country. Yeah, he's like, came down here, realized I had 5,000 bucks, bought a boat. Yeah. Now I'm telling these cunts that's coral reef. It's not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah. absolutely right, man. It is a, it is like a, a kind of the, mir- the mirage yeah. of your mm. small town. You get hooked on like... It's Hotel California. Yeah. The experience. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I met a yeah. guy like who was like nearing 60s, like bone white hair. And like we were just like out of pub on our way to this pre-wedding party, and we we're like, let's stop off for a skewy because we've been walking for like three kilometers, and we're like, we need it. <laughs> and yeah. uh, we got there, and this guy was just like immediately chatting us up, being like, 
look at these cunts. So he was like, I'm going to take them out in the boat tomorrow. One of them's going to give one of them a wristy. And like, he was just uh, like, just telling us all this stuff about boat stuff. And we're like, well, he was like, what's your name? And I was like, Jamie. And he's like, I'm the Woz dog. <laughs> and he's oh, just like, yeah. great yeah, hair. Yeah. And then the next day after the wedding, like this boss took us like into town and gave us all these vouchers for this like shitty club. But because it was Sunday, the club was actually closed. Yeah. So we went into the nearest pub and it was completely empty because it was dead. And But who do we find but the Woz, Woz dog, dog. Who's, yeah. just, <laughs> who's just like, Jamie, Zach, brothers, <laughs> sit down. And oh. like, my friends are like, we've got to leave. And I was like, I can't. So I sat down and had a beer with him oh, while everyone man. went to the next place. Oh, He's pretty no. much a local, He's mate. like, yeah. join <laughs> us, join yeah. us. And he, One of us. I was like showing him my accounts. be like, how much could this get here? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So you got um, a couple of things we haven't even talked about. We normally ask uh, guests for a bit of a, a nostalgic treat or a drink that they had. You said chicken crimpies. Yes. So chicken crimpies, big old staple as a kid. Yeah, Foster. just like they were quite easy to steal. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> as a kid, there's like not... The no one's some packs or the, the, no, the, 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 the jumbo sauce? box, I guess. Oh, I mean, the regular <laughs> box. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone's like, got a pretty simple palate up there. So yeah, yeah, that was yeah. a quite a quite an exotic dish. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. Sure I've, I've, got a like con- I've got a confession to make. I've never had one of these. All right. Mate, Mate, man, tell, us, tell me what you said. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because um, Bensley he's... told me that you said chicken crimpies. So, like, I had... Not only have I never had one, but, like, I've only heard of them in passing because I, I moved here from Holland in 1999, so I sure. didn't kind of, like, grow up with Australian snacks so much. Yeah. So, to me, like, even shapes were kind of just something that were in a mate's lunchbox that I never bought. And I went to my wife and I was like, he said chicken crimpies. It, it's the shape, right? Or is, there, or is that, like... <laughs> or is it, like, a uh, Well, I was like, is chicken crimpy the flavouring and I've got to cook something? <laughs> like, I was well, like, you thought, yeah, you thought it was, like, shaped chicken crimpy or there was, like... You know, Doritos chicken crimpy flavor. Like yeah, there was yeah, like yeah. a dis- you can, established you flavor. You can get there's chicken crimpies that are shaped like little um, bones, like a little. Like, oh yeah, drum that's the Dixie drumstick. But, drum and, and, but oh, Andy said they're yeah. called crimpies yeah. because they're crimp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a chicken crimp. There's nothing else but that. As a you, that, you go, am I mate, but there's I'm, the same I'm flavor. A like, it's exactly exactly flavor. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm ex- I'm excited. I can't wait to, to hold one of these. I haven't had one in ages, man. They're great. Damn, that's pretty good. Ah. Ooh, mm. that is. Well, right, I was them. just about to write it off to Jamie. I'm like, they're pretty good, but I'm like, oh, actually, yeah, oh, fucking no. great, man. I love them. Yeah, I but you're right. My... Dixie drumsticks are the same flavor, <laughs> but I can see myself finishing that box. <laughs> so, honestly, more, yeah, so, more. So, this is about fifth or sixth episode. Every single one, Jamie has got a new favorite thing to eat <laughs> like, or drink. It, like we had fucking chocolate. What was it? The, the Cho- um, uh, what was it called? Shooters? Cowboy. It Cowboy was shooters. Like, yeah, and he was like ready to drink it out of the. It's pace. alcoholic chocolate. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the like, next night, yeah. Jamie texts me like, "Hey man, you want to go get some shooters down?" <laughs> 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 we know some people that have vegetables. Just like man. Drew, new idea for a bar: only cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I should have said like something more yeah. alcoholic-ish. Oh, we uh, don't know. Yes, but if it's if it's foster related, it would have been a cask. Yeah, wine. yeah, and yeah. it was very awful. We've yeah. definitely <laughs> had that. We already had goons, but so. it was also it's a port. Oh, oh, that's a good <laughs> oh, port! I kind of look forward. That's to. the worst hangover cool. I've ever had. Ever I because I, I, I when I was about nineteen, <laughs> I was at the at the um bottle shop and I was doing the like, you know the like uh, fucking Zach Alphanakis in the hangover with all like the sums and I'm doing it with all the booze and I was like, port is the cheapest for the most standard drinks. Yeah, and just sat in the back seat of my mate's car, getting just necking, fucking, it. just yeah, just necking <laughs> it. And to this day, like I've never had still, that bad a hangover. Feel it. The f- just Vomit all just the next haunted day. by yeah, the, port, yeah. the tawny port. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like an old sailor at fucking <laughs> Smuggler's <laughs> Cove. <laughs> so now, oh, no. I don't yeah, know if I can get you. <laughs> fucking Port Boulevard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, hanging out in oh. fucking Flounder Avenue. We used to drink Port and Cokes at West Leagues Club in Newcastle, which is Port big and Coke. Port and Coke. Man, that's great. And because Does it we, taste good? We, well, I was at the bar. It's pretty it's smashable, eh? It's, 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 it's been, <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. That was a heat seeker saying that I could hear. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, you know, we were just cheap, like poor cheap guns. Well, what we what we used to do is buy a little hippie of Bundy at the bottle shop next door, put it in our pockets, go in, yep. buy one like the cheapest beer, and be like, mm, and then go into the toilet and just neck the fucking Bundy yeah, yeah, yeah. straight, yep. and then come out be blind off one beer, yeah. you know. But then we saw, I saw some old duck go to the bar once and be like, two bought and cokes, and the guy was like four dollars fifty, and I was like. Did the same thing. <laughs> Hold on a minute here. I can divide by two. What? You know, so then I, 
I thought it was like a cool, not a cool drink, but just a normal drink. Yeah, but I didn't yeah. realize it was like a grandma drink. And it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And so we, I was just like, mate, got to get on these fucking port and cokes. They rip your head off for two bucks or whatever. It was so <laughs> cheap. And they would, they like a jug of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was like, I mean, it's, it's one of those things that's revolting, but it wasn't strong, um, like an alcoholic strong, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So you could get through them if you wanted to. And we used to drink them all the fucking time. And now I, I don't, yeah, they're, it's like, it's like port hangover plus like a big sugar hangover as yeah, well. Like, oh, it's, it gets you know, right into your soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's unforgiving. <laughs> I remember going into a club in uh, Canberra with a couple of mates. Um, the guy who showed me your uh, videos actually for the first time. And it was one of those things where we were so hammered. And I, I, I just love to imagine it from like the bouncer's perspective because I thought I was like Mr. Sneaky McGee. And I walked in with a backpack on and had a bottle of Jim Beam in there. And I walked up, to, like stumbled up to the bar and was like, three Cokes? And he's just like, yeah. And I was like, just regular Cokes, my man. Puts three Cokes <laughs> down, got them all like that. And went and just like elbowed my way into the bath, men's bathroom <laughs> with all three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I've come out just and the bouncer's just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> he's just standing. I walk out, the bouncer's standing there and just go, he just like, like sniffed no. him and just goes, get the fuck out. And I was like, yes, yeah, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a fight. Yeah, I was like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that were generous pause. Too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, That was a half and half. Yeah, yeah you, you didn't get the shot glass out. It's like... I'm fucking Tom Cruise in cocktail. <laughs> they kicked him out because he was just spilling the bottle. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like your yeah. flagrant disregard for proper cocktail yeah. technique. Drew, yeah, him. Drew, he probably... Like ordered, you know, he probably made pina coladas or something. You know, it's like in the <laughs> yeah. toilet like, Is it jug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blender? Blender. Blender. <laughs> can I have like a, some fresh limes? Can I have some back? limes, a bit You're of like coconut milk? <laughs> have you got any pineapple juice? Do you have a <laughs> chef's knife <laughs> and a chopping board? Oh, oh, man, it's a pretty strategic move, though. I know. You gotta when you're young, you got to kind of like yeah. sniper it when you can. I know. It's it, you got to really figure out how to get around all that ridiculous uh Taxes and all that shit. They oh, exactly. Us, you know? it's just, it's Half the reason just uh, <laughs> popping a little biggie. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the, <laughs> yes. <laughs> just say no more. Known to. <laughs> um, Maybe. Should we get onto the? Um, I want to hear. I've been itching to hear the story of uh, of this swimming carnival. That, uh, oh, okay. The swimming carnival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, incident. The incident. Yeah. All right. So story. Bear with me. Um, <laughs> strap in. Yeah, strap in. Um, so I'm strapped. Like I was a little bit younger. And we had a we had a pool at home, right? Above ground pool, mm. oh, about yeah. six meters long, right? Nice. I was very fast at six meters. Go <laughs> 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 on. This is, so this is so this is just before I moved to the beach, right? Just so I was still pretty urban. Yeah, this yeah, is or... just yeah. This is just as I've come. Okay. So I haven't quite become fucking Aquaman yet. Yeah. yeah. To mm. some extent, mm -hmm. and. I could swim really fast for six meters yep. the length of my pool. Then we had swimming carnival. I thought this is fucking great. I'm gonna win. <laughs> and then at home, what's the race? Ten meters? Yeah, yeah. And well, at home, I found my my mum and dad. Well, my mum had been collecting fifty cent pieces. Like you know, they have fucking shitty commemorative mm. uh, Commonwealth Games yeah, or yeah, yeah, Princess yeah, yeah. fucking Diana's yeah. wedding or something. Mm. And I didn't know you could spend them, right? <laughs> so she had a fucking bucket of these fucking things, and so. I took them all <laughs> when I found out they were money to the swimming carnival. So I took them all to the swimming carnival, okay? And my mum's like, have you got a towel? I'm like, yes. I walk out. I've got fucking no towel. I've got a backpack full of all of her commemorative 50 cent pieces, right? <laughs> I, I, was, I was fucking <laughs> breaching backwards. <laughs> that'll, that'll wreck your six meter swimming yeah. body. Well, like reverse it, Michael Jackson in smooth crew. <laughs> Dude, well, I was fucking jangling up the street with that fucking thing. And so we get to the fucking swimming carnival and there's a kiosk, right? <laughs> Thankfully, there's a kiosk. <laughs> and I've gone up to the fucking dude. I was probably like fucking 11 or 12 or some shit. 11, 10, I don't know, fucking weird age. Yeah. yeah. When you haven't like grown into your body and you just look kind of fucking spindly and weird. <laughs> and I go, I <laughs> put the fucking back up on the counter. I say, what can I buy for that? And he just fucking opens it and he just goes, what do you want? <laughs> it's about fucking maybe 50 bucks worth of 50 cent coins. So that's 100. It's probably more. And he's just like, and so I, I just, being a kid, I'm like, fucking I'll take eight 
bags of fucking fantails, <laughs> 20 fucking hot chips, all this shit. It just loads up the bag, right? So we walk up, I've just loaded and now have all the power <laughs> amongst all these children, right? And so there's a fucking hill, there's a fucking swimming pool, 50 meter. There's a pool, I mean, sorry, there's a hill mm. where all the school's sitting. And I just walk up and I just fucking open up this thing of lollies and all the kids are freaking out. And so I had paid off two bigger dudes to kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you got muscle. This muscle, like, this the heavy. Like good fellas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I sit there and I'm like kind of buying friends and like strategically. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm eating. Oh, just just pigging out. Pigging out. And then they just... Yeah, I had the call for fucking 50 metres fucking under 11's race. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, fucking sweet. That's me. I go, guard the lollies to my fucking henchmen. Guard the lollies. <laughs> oh. I fucking get up on the blocks and I'm like, fucking hell. And I've got shorts on. Every kid behind, like every kid beside me has got goggles, the speedos, togs. Yeah, the togs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just standing there like this, full of fucking lollies. <laughs> just going, just go back a step. There's a real creepy teacher there, right? Like he's he's probably a really nice guy, but he had the real characteristics of just a a pedo. I don't want to say he's a pedo, <laughs> but he looked like one, right? Okay. He's in fucking the tiniest sp speedos. Yeah, yeah. He's the marshal whistle, and everyone was like, "Oh, he's a pedo, he's a pedo, he's a pedo." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Fucking everyone, stay away from him. Oh, he's a all the older kids would be like, "He's a fucking pedo," and uh, <laughs> so we're fucking. He shoots the gun, I jump in, I absolutely cane the six meters <laughs> of my fucking He's off pool. To a strong start. I'm fucking winning. <laughs> right? And then I just I look and it's still so far. <laughs> and I'm looking and all the kids with the goggles and shit are fucking zipping by me. And I'm going and I'm looking and I'm sinking. Cause I'm fucking full of lollies and hot chips and shit. I'm sinking, and I'm sinking, and I'm sinking, and the whole school is sitting there, the fucking whole school, man, on the hill, are all chanting, and they're watching me drowning, slowly, and then I see the fucking pedo teacher making a fucking beeline along a thing, so I start swimming faster, and I start sinking, failing, and he fucking... I have this image in my head of him diving at me. I'm like, I'm fucking getting molested. <laughs> While I get drowned, he fucking scoops me up, dude, and he puts me on the side of the pool, and I look up, and it's just the fucking entire school. Oh. I've been rescued oh. in a fucking 50-meter race by the, fucking, by the pedo. <laughs> and a fucking hour earlier, I'd been like saying, like, kids, like, nah, not you, not you. Being a prick to all the kids. Oh, no. I know. They're it was all like kissing the ring. Like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, like not you, Collier. not you, not you. And then I come back and the whole lollies have been <laughs> stolen. <laughs> and I've got no towel. So I'm sitting there alone by myself on this hill, soaking wet, just going, what a fucking day. So yeah, oh, no, that, that was basically, oh, yeah, that was oh. one incident of many. <laughs> And did your old girl fight blow up? Yeah, absolutely she did. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Was she pleased that you used it to become a businessman? <laughs> uh, I think if I, I mean, if I told her the story that like, she probably would have been happy that, that, ha that I had to suffer. Yeah. <laughs> and like still harbour it to this day. <laughs> it was a real... Right. The rise riches. Yeah. It, was, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it, was, it was absolutely the hero's arc. Yeah, but it was a wolf of wolves. A couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. uh, so yeah, oh, oh, anyway, that oh, was just one, one, oh, that was man. just one thing, one yeah, thing that yeah. happened, oh, that but up. that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. And then I was uh, heckled for fucking, you can't swim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're in, you're in love with Mr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> get a fucking, get a room. Oh, you've been swimming with Joel, Joel man Jones. Fighting <laughs> <laughs> around a six meter pool for a splash. <laughs> Where's your boyfriend, Jonesy? <laughs> like real shit kid oh, banter. Oh no. I had, a, um, I had a swimming... I was petrified of the swimming carnival. We had a same... The Queen Bean swimming pool was a big 50-metre pool. Same thing, Grass Hill. And so swimming carnival day, they put the little uh, portable uh, like tent things up and you'd all sit under them. Whole school there. And I was... I 
or I couldn't swim. And I was te- not only couldn't swim, but was terrified of drowning. Yep. And that's bad combo. I remember mum took me and my younger brother for swimming lessons once at this guy's house. He just he had an indoor pool and he ran like private swimming lessons. And mum tried to take it's us. Mr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just Jones' side. Get in. <laughs> Get and, your um, togs off. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby Makes more you skin, go boys. <laughs> Makes you go faster. Yeah. Yeah. Get that shirt off, son. <laughs> um, but it was like... It, it was one of those things where I was just like, I'm absolutely not getting in that water, Jonesy. You're not fucking making me. Yeah. And, and so I'd be happy to do the thing where you'd have the paddle board and like kick. Yeah, and, yeah. and you were close to the side. Yeah. And the second he tried to do anything else, I refused. And because my little brother was there, he just did anything I did. And uh, I remember this guy, my mum tried to like fake it, fake us out by going, I'm, I'm leaving and you boys are going to do your swimming lessons and I'm going. And she just went around the corner. Yeah. But her leaving, I was like, I'm fucking busting out of here. Yeah. And this guy tried to give me one of the fl- like the little floaty board things. He held it out and I just gave it a big karate chop out of his hand. <laughs> and I went, up. Danny, run! And we both fucking <laughs> took off down the street. My mum had to come out from where she was having a cigarette around the corner <laughs> and chase us down. So I was like terrified of swimming. I never want to do the swimming carnival. Yeah. And um, this one year, they were like, you have to do it. This is part of class. You fucking have to do it because i'd always just fake sick or like you know yeah. cry to my mum like, let me stay home yeah. this time they were like you have to do it and 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 i like i was having a tanty and they were like look you're if you can do it just put some floaties on oh and yeah, I, was, right. I was like <laughs> I, I was in year, th- year three oh, whatever that is so like, 17 like, yeah, repeated i repeated a lot <laughs> <laughs> i was bit drew in madison <laughs> um so yeah i was like i was like nine or ten and so they go, <laughs> you can use floaties, and I didn't have any. Uh, so I had to wear, not, not f- like, you know, because they have like the block fo- floaties you can put around your arm. Mm. Uh, the only one that I could source was my friend's younger sister's life jacket. <laughs> <laughs> As if you go on fishing. <laughs> like a proper. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, oh so, and it was pink. It was pink. <laughs> You were like nine. I was like nine, and <laughs> and they were like, you had, they they said just jump in and you'll pass, and and I was like, I hate like I hate this, and so I had to go like line up. Everyone same thing, man. Just like the everyone's got the the goggles, the fucking speedos, and uh, I just had my boardies down to my vest. <laughs> down to my shins because I refused to wear shorts that were above my leg back like my my knee back then. Got these giant fucking boardies on. Yeah, you're worried about oh. looking uncool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> And I've got, and they've, and they've, they've gone like they've hit the the whistle, and everyone's like swan dived in gracefully, and I've just jumped in and just bobbed like I was in the middle of the ocean, like waiting to be rescued, just around, yeah, around, yeah. Around, <laughs> and it haunts me. Streets it haunts named after you, man. Mate, surely I had mates at like little friends. And Not shit. anymore. Like, they just, they, yeah. That's what I mean. They just hammer you, like. Yes. Oh, of course. Dude. I got That's that. amazing. That's yeah. so good. I we used to do fucking surf life saving at our school. Did you guys do that? Like, so I didn't do it, but some kids. Like I know, because we like the swimming carnival for me also like coming to Australia, I wasn't a terrible swimmer where I was from, but not somewhere where the beach is every day. I became a very poor swimmer very quickly when I got here. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, the swimming carnival, I would always do what Drew did. I would fake illness or mm, I would kick yeah. and scream and tell my mom that I wasn't ready for it until she just relented. But surf lifesaving was a fucking three-day thing that was compulsory until you realised that you could lie your way out of it. But, like, the first few days, like, growing up, like, at year eight or year nine, I was, like, a fat kid, like, just, like, starting to watch, like, the girls in your school, like do the thing where they would have to wear, like, the one-piece thing, but they'd, like, roll it down so it was just that, yeah. like, just the bottoms, and then put a bikini top on. And, like... And then, yeah. Very <laughs> 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 all right, Jonesy. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, all, and like a lot of the, like, athletic kids are in Speedos. They've got, like, you know, great chest, and I'm, like, rolling around, like, f- fat as shit, just <laughs> being, like, you know what the solution to this is? Wearing a rash vest and pretending <laughs> that I'm sun conscious. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Never mind that a rash vest makes you look like a marshmallow wrapped in glad wrap. Yeah, 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 <laughs> just yeah, yeah. like fat spilling everywhere. So I'm like chubbing along in my little rash vest. Did you have the matching like flap hat? No, oh. like even, I, even that I was like dorky. <laughs> As I wear my hot tuna rash vest in, while everyone else had the body of a god. <laughs> but the funniest thing that like I saw didn't even happen to me. Like, my my mate uh, was bullying this kid 
And uh, you know how uh, public pools at the side, they kind of have like that little trough just by the side? So, and it kind of has like a little canal of water that like slowly goes into the drain. Mm. And so we were doing that thing where you have to do surf life saving stuff, but you have to wear all your clothes in, in, in the pool. Oh, yeah, like you to. Simulate drowning. Simulate drowning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Simulate so, like, drowning. Yeah, so like the idea Absolutely. is... The idea all is, all is... All fully clothed. This might happen to you. <laughs> yeah, well, the idea is to like swim in my level, which was the, the loser level to go 50 metres. But if you're in like the good level to go 200. I did like my best Stokesy in the world. Just fell in and like started drowning. <laughs> and I'm like, how are you meant to swim with shoes on? It's like, yeah. I, I just want to be selling lollies. Yeah. You know? but, <laughs> but so like after we're done, uh, like uh, one of my mates is like, let's see how fast you can swim to this other kid. And he got like his track pants and he put him in that little canal at the side thinking it would go like real slowly and it'd just watch him flail but they just went Vunk! and just <laughs> flew down the pool and got clogged in the train and fucked the pool up the <laughs> pool just starts overflowing yeah. <laughs> everyone's like this is a real emergency now <laughs> some guy had to go in there and fish them out while this other kid was just like those are my pants and he like couldn't go home and I'm just like, oh, is he no no they're pants? just like too wet Jonesy, to wear. Oh, like, uh, Jonesy. <laughs> was he naked yeah. Jonesy yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me just get a visual here. Uh, <laughs> how old again? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's hell. Oh, I've yeah. known the best any any weird teacher who was just slightly like just slightly weird. It was like pedophile, yeah. pedophile. Oh, and yeah. I remember yeah. as a kid, I was like a little bit like ah, we're just saying that. And then I reckon I was probably half a right. For you know sure. what I mean? Like, Absolutely. Sure. You know? I like I kind of disagree now because like at first you're like oh it's always the weird one that you think is the pedophile, but in the end, like the ones that come out came out in my school, who was like dating a student, it was the cool teacher who was like, "Yeah, I'm just a well, fucking guy's guy, there's... you know, like yeah, fucking show up late to class, like it's yeah. all right, baby. yeah." The bro, the like, bro yeah, teacher, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually, uh, usually PE teachers yeah. and shit. Eh? And eventually, you see them down at the RSL, like trying to hook up with like yeah. seventeen yeah. year olds. <laughs> Absolutely, and, you, and you're just had, like, um, "This isn't. You should be playing more chilly, sir." <laughs> yeah. we, we had like a gentleman. We sure. had uh, two sex scandals at our school. One was that. It was the cool. The first Young. was that you had sex. Yeah, with yeah, with, with Mr. Jones. Jones. <laughs> 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 that was a scandal. Um, uh, there, there was a cool teacher, and I remember him, and he was like literally in class, and like I didn't think it was very douchey at the time because I was a young impressionable kid. I didn't think it was cool, but now it's so pathetic. But he was like literally in class, our English teacher. He would have been like twenty nine, thirty, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm going into uh, uh, fuck. What's the?" The big club in Sydney? Fuck, I just... Ivy. 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 He's like, going to the Ivy on the weekend. Yeah, got to... Say. And like, you're trying to impress all the kids. Like, oh. so he's going to the Ivy. And he's like, yeah, it cost me a couple hundred bucks. And all the kids were like, wow, wow this man. is cool. And then later on, he got caught fucking a year 12 student in the toilets at school. Oh, jeez. Like, oh, in the Christ. toilet. In the girls' toilet. Scandal At school. And then that was like, he's fucking dumb for. And the other thing was a, the, a real weird pedophile like teacher. He didn't... He got caught jerking off in the woodwork room, which is like, of all the fucking rooms, dude, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, fucking, you know, he loves it so much. <laughs> <laughs> There's no lubricant or anything, you know? Like, what are you it, doing? It sand, fucking sandpaper. Sand <laughs> <laughs> this band store is so sick. <laughs> They're like the, <laughs> the fucking things with the little knobby. <laughs> it was like, I was tempted by all the dust. Oh. But uh, yeah, some girl, like the class left, and I don't know if he was, I mean, he must have been jerking off over one of the students. Because like the class, all the band saw, all the yeah. band saw, yeah. one of the know? students' projects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, oh, that's a right. great joinery. Yeah. On that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Send my that that bevel <laughs> cut over there. <laughs> Send me all sorts of deals. I'm getting bevel half cut. <laughs> 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 Beveled. <laughs> Where they? <laughs> but then yeah. Anyway, the, one of the students like came back. Like I forgot my bag, and then he was just oh like, no, oh, 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 no. Jesus Christ! And she was like. Ah, Mm. That's fucking yeah. two pretty good scandals. I know. Everything like <laughs> outrageous each, each other, and <laughs> I was like, you can't do anything in this school. Like, you can't have a fucking JR. Yeah, you can't, you like, can't like, fuck a student. <laughs> we, had a, we had a teacher who was not. He had you could maybe say pedo vibes, but he was just a weird cunt. Mm. And he'd been there since um, the seventies because he taught both my dad and my auntie. And so he's just one of those ancient guys who's been there forever. Yeah. yeah. He eventually uh, disappeared from the school under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> 
And the rumor was he got into a fist fight with one of the kids and beat the shit out of him. Wow. So I think he just like snapped. He was just too oh, old and he'd been putting on with shit many, for too, too long. Many days. Too many days. Um, kids. But too, I was, many, yeah. too many paper airplanes in the back. Oh, for oh. sure. And he was the science teacher, I remember. And I was texting my younger brother. I was like, do you remember any like scandals from school? Because it's just trying to collect stories for this podcast. And he had so many for this guy. But the one that I loved was um, the, my brother's year went on an excursion to the Canberra Zoo. And this was like middle of winter and fucking Canberra Zoo gets cold, fucking eh? cold. And he, um, this teacher was asleep. Everyone's asleep in the, in the little, like you get this like enclosure thing. You can all sleep in the zoo. There's animals there. It's, mm. it's all fun. Uh, and this kid um, <laughs> needed to piss. And the teacher got up and he's all cranky. He's going, go, go, go outside. Go piss out there. Kid goes out to piss. He shuts the door and just goes, Straight back to sleep The kid's banging on the door oh, Nobody he hears him He just stayed out there All night They <laughs> 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 found him in the morning Just freezing Because he went for a piss And he's just fucking uh, not uh, uh, Dude The neglect <laughs> <laughs> And it was oh, man That's amazing The kid would have said something But he fucking was like uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but I'm, I'm fucking, Yeah but I'm <laughs> like Oh uh, yeah Come wake up in the middle of fucking night And molest me So Stokes you, uh, Were there any local characters Around and uh, Fossa Tunkari that were particularly notable. Yes, yes. Um, there were heaps. And one that sticks out, this is a pretty random story, but this guy called Sherbet. Sherbs. <laughs> And oh, um, so like in the uh, short and sherbet, you know what I mean? Like, oh, ten sherbets. <laughs> yeah, I know, and, and everyone's so busy in Foster, it's like <laughs> we don't have time to say sherbet. So to sherbs, <laughs> sherbs. But um. I think early 90s, man, I think it was like, yeah, it was early, early 90s and uh, Daryl Braithwaite was filming a film clip. You know Daryl Braithwaite? Yeah, horses. Yeah. Yeah. Epic, epic, epic clip. Was it for horses? Like the film clip? It was for the actual film clip, Horses, ah. right? So they filmed at this place called Sandbar, which is, again, a very creative name, Foster, <laughs> which is a sandbar. <laughs> and uh, this was like pre-drone days, so... They had to do. They were doing these huge helicopter oh, flyover for the for the epic shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And in Foster Man, when something happens, because nothing happens, the Chinese whispers go through the town. Everyone's like, Daryl Braithwaite's filming at Samba, and then it becomes Daryl Braithwaite's playing a free gig at Samba. The fucking whole town goes out there, right, <laughs> and just bombards his photo shoot, and they blocked it all off. And this guy Sherbs, call him Sherbet, he kayaked. <laughs> So this okay. Just visualize the overhead shot in yeah. horses, right? They had to fucking come back and reshoot it two weeks later and ban the whole town from coming out because Sherbet sniped his way through the bush with a kayak and a fucking six pack of beer and wanted to meet Daryl Braithwaite. He thought the best time to meet Daryl Braithwaite would be oh. He's by himself on the sandbar. He no, kayaked no, no. over and got in every fucking overhead <laughs> shot. This is a fucking thousands and thousands of dollars spent. He kayaks out to the sandbar while he's doing the whole. Way up out. And he, yeah, he's going, Daryl. Daryl. I got a six pack. It's Sherbs. And we call him Sherbet because. Daryl Braithwaite's first fucking band was called Sherbet. Oh. And so everyone called him Sherbet. Oh. And the <laughs> cops went to him. They, they couldn't. You, you could see him streaking. Like, Daryl Braithwaite's, like, just picture It's like the lake yeah. is on the thing. It's all beautiful. You can just see him fucking powering <laughs> out there on a fucking kayak to meet Daryl Braithwaite. And then you, when you ask Sherbs about it to this day, because he got banned and got in heaps of trouble for it. He's like, yeah, Daryl Braithwaite, yeah, yeah, I know about that guy. The prima donna. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking a huge ego. Huge ego. Doesn't care about his fans. And he, he all, the only thing that the guy at Sherbert knew, that he liked the song How's That from Sherbert, that fucking song. And he fucking, yeah, so that was, yeah, so Sherbert. 
Sherbs. Sherbs was a fucking legend. Yeah. Is he an old, um, old burnout? Yeah, Smuggler's Cove. He probably paddled from fucking Smuggler's Cove. From the Cove. Dude. Oh, he was smuggling oh. the six pack out there. Oh. But he ruined. He, this was a fucking pre drone, man. So you got a fucking helicopter with a fucking cameraman yeah, yeah, yeah. doing fucking laps. Before they couldn't Photoshop him out or anything. You, know? you could. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> just street. I want to see like the fucking director's cut yeah, with yeah, fucking Sherbs in it. It's going to be. <laughs> Yeah. Daryl! Yeah. Like, Daryl! <laughs> That's the only fucking thing I want to ask him if I ever did an interview with yeah. him now. He'd yeah. be like, don't you want to ask about my career? And I'd be like, do you know Sherb? <laughs> do you why remember you that dude on the kayak? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, why did you have a view with you, you prima donna? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, I, what do you think, you're he, better than Sherb? He's, he's like, I don't know about that guy. I don't know about Daryl Braithwaite. <laughs> like, he was... He was yeah, I don't know about it. Classic <laughs> Bertie Lara. Yeah. 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 Oh, fucking I used to like him. Rock stars. I don't know. Like, <laughs> fucking <laughs> unaccessible. <laughs> Oh, you'll be wrong. <laughs> he's fucking kayaking. That's, That's so funny. funny. Oh fuck yeah. So yeah, Sherbs is one so man. He's a foster yeah. legend. Who well, he's a legend for doing that. He's a pile. He's a pile out. <laughs> massive pile. But um yeah. So in ah oh, fuck man. There's there's so heaps heaps. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you heard of this guy Ted Bickford by any chance? Ted Bickford no. But I'd love Ted, to fucking meet him. Ted, That's an epic name. Uh, Ted Bickford is a. Uh, uh, like I, I googled Foster local legends, <laughs> and uh, I'm surprised Sherbs didn't show up. It would be his real name. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think so because this guy is just like he's famous around the Foster Tuncurry region because he goes around and removes graffiti everywhere. Oh, I do and, know this guy, and that put him up on number one result Foster local legend. And yeah. like, uh, if you look at legend and Ted Bigford, like it's him. And he's everywhere, just talking about how graffiti is like a menace. And like he was a fucking pain in the ass because we we got a they got a brand new skate park, like a cement beautiful, yeah. beautiful skate park. And if someone would fucking tag it up at night, you got to skate it the next day. Old, old, old Bigford's fucking <laughs> power hosing it off. <laughs> it's like it's fucking, they'll get a life. Yeah. They've the, they got too much time. If all the constituents of Foster who are going to care about graffiti, I feel the skaters are yeah. the lowest. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The skaters are turning up like, oh, I can't skate with this graffiti. <laughs> oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, Bigford's like, I've got this. Go <laughs> <myself."> <laughs> right, boys. We've got a nice, <laughs> nice clean little. Fucking uh, scrubbing it with there, a mate. fucking toothbrush <laughs> just to kill time in his day because yeah. he's fucking bored. I, I, did, I did a bit of reading. Research on Ted old Bigford, Bigford because the first thing the first Teddy. thing that came up was him and it, like the site was graffiti removal day, so I was like, oh, he probably owns this site and it's like, yeah, I'm the local legend. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a, it, it it says Super Ted Bigford in his profile, <laughs> really? and so like it get it has hell, his Ted. whole history and it's like the superpower of Ted Bigford isn't his ability to single handedly create a graffiti free town. But something far greater. <laughs> like, for the past 22 years, Mr. Bickford has dedicated his life to two things. His family and the community of Foster Tuncurry. Oh, bless. Not just by removing graffiti, <laughs> by, but by becoming the patriarch of the area. And then it's... Uh, he, he wrote this too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but then it has like the quotes with his interview. It started when I looked around and saw graffiti all over the town. At first, Mr. Bigfoot would ride his bike all over the town, locating <laughs> and removing graffiti at his own expense. And it's like, this isn't a legend. This is a dork. Like, yeah, he's a yeah. fucking loser. Yeah. But, but then, like, apparently the Mid-Coast Council, like, jumped on board with him and, like, essentially gave him a badge and a gun, <laughs> like, yeah. that just, which is just a high-pressure hose and yeah. the ability, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the ability to shake a fist at yeah. teens in but the area. But all you're doing there is just, like, you're just r- waving a red flag in front of teens, like, you know, can you put more fucking graffiti up than Ted can take down? Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. just... Because a lot of graffiti is just kids expressing themselves. But if, if there was some self-righteous cunt going around taking down everything, I'd, at night, when he's asleep, I'm like, fuck this. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be fucking tagging Ted. fucking everything. Yeah. You'd be like, like Bigfoot. Ted doing Ted like better. beautiful yeah. piece. Yeah. Ted Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like imagine a... mural to Ted. Yeah. 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 Help him taking off all the graffiti. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I was just graffiti. some Banksy shit, Just graffiti is bad and Ted's like, I don't know what to do now. You know, do I take it off? Do I leave it off? It made me think of like an alternate career for Banksy where like I like he was yeah. like I'm gonna do political expression and then this Bigfoot guy was doing it and he was like I'm just gonna dedicate my life to fucking with this cunt. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like rats like fucking him in the ass and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Bigfoot Bigfoot might be Banksy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, wow. But no, here, that's here's very like, Banksy. Yeah. Yeah. His Bixie his Bixie his Bixie's final advice oh, for teens. Here we go. Zero tolerance. 
You cannot put a spray can in a young person's hand and tell them you can graffiti here, but you can't graffiti there. If you want to be an artist, go to an art gallery. And it's like, that's w- wait, what? That's two separate <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like graffiti at the art gallery? <laughs> if you want to be a musician, go watch Green Day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's very vague. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't ruin other people's property. It's like, give them a fucking mural. Also, like, there's uh, no yeah. art gallery in Foster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I got to move to fucking Sydney. And yeah. like, do you think <laughs> Ted Bickford's like, my heel flip gap at the <laughs> yeah, like, Foster Tongue Curry Dude, State and Park? I swear the only graffiti ever was in the yeah. Inside of the bowl, yeah, yeah, he's like, I right. used to this nolly there, and now <laughs> it's all dirty. Someone he just wants to park to himself. Someone drew a dick on his fence twenty years before yeah, any of this, yeah. and he just had a fucking bee in his bonnet. Oh, bro, day. there are a lot of like locals that have too much time. Yeah, there are a lot of fucking nosy neighbors and yeah. like. Because there's a bit of a, t- a bit of a. Um, it's just so small, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and like everybody fucking knows everything about yeah. everyone. Because like w- during, it's real grim outside of the Christmas holidays. It's just like, it's just no one there. Yeah. Like you see the same people every day. <laughs> yeah, 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 like yeah. there are still dude. Like, <sighs> like this guy shuffles. This old man. <laughs> he fucking he he jogs. Like into town and and back every day at a fucking snail's pace, and it really it really irritates me. And I move, <laughs> and every time I go back, I go fuck. I bet we see shuffles. Like fucking, it's like the ghost out of Ghostbusters <laughs> one or two. Like there's a jogger yeah, in Central yeah, Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. He looks like that guy, and it fucking gives me shit. And like yeah, he's still there. I don't know why it annoys me so much, but like he just he's just all. He just keeps in the same people, man. Yeah, he just they like, just fucking every day is like this fucking same, same, it's like, same. Yeah, just like there's a no like Truman Show. Where it's it's like, like Truman the same, Show. Like, fucking, absolutely, like, man. Of all yeah, the same people. absolutely, man. I have one quick story that I went to. Uh, Foster Tan Curry once when I went I would have been like 17 or 18 and we had a, we went there for New Year's Eve and I don't fucking know why you know like some New Year's Eve plans where you're like fuck let's not let's just do it on a whim and we'll figure it out and then it's like a great yep, night yep, yep. and then there's other New Year's Eve's where you get there and you're like sitting in the Tan Curry Park and you're like oh, what, right, what's the yep. plan like, you know what I mean like, we're gonna yeah, shuffles yeah, 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 shuffles yeah, shuffles there's like fucking, yeah, what are you doing boys there's Sherman on the kayak you know <laughs> <laughs> and we um and we just sat in the park at it was on the tongue curry side and the the bridge and yep. I guess they yep. had fireworks and someone yeah, was like, it's gonna be fireworks yep. and it's like it's not Sydney Harbour Bridge fireworks, but yep. there, is there a new have you been in New Year's Eve there? Like, yeah, you yeah. Been there? Like, yeah, yeah. It was just like um fuck man, it was just it was actually pretty rough. <laughs> like <laughs> Like, it's pretty dangerous. Well, we because like the locals them. get pissed, man, and we, they we fucking got in a massive because they don't like people from out of town. Yeah, mm. we so we the got but is, it tour, is it tourism like half their industry? Yeah, as well? yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and the locals like, are wheels. against it. Yeah, and then the fucking <laughs> yeah, you probably ran into some shit like that. Fighting at the park don't yeah. own also a fucking tourist <laughs> business. You know what I mean? They're not taking people yeah. out on a fishing <laughs> charter and then bashing them later that night. Well, that's a fucking good business. But it's it's I think it's like. Like some people, the people who are like retired and they're like, I don't give a fuck about the business. I just want to live in peace. They hate tourists. But then I think like maybe like the young, like I guess the surfers and stuff don't want tourists coming in and getting yeah, in their sure. waves. It's yeah. like every beach in fucking yeah. up and down the coast, Newcastle, the same thing. Yeah. But we, we went there, we got drunk in the park and we then was, the, uh, it was the skate park and my mate, I just have a mate who's a huge unit who just gets in fights all the fucking time, but he's huge and he can't fight. Right. Like he, I've seen him knocked out like seven times, you know. <laughs> I've never seen him throw a punch. And I've seen him like literally where he, and he needles people. Like, you know, I don't know if you have a mate like that where he just, and he's just like sitting there like he'll just start talking to someone. He'll just start annoying them. And then you look around, he's on the floor and he comes like over <laughs> like this. And there was a huge gang of these, I guess, tongue curry young kids. It would have been like 2 a.m. at the skate park. And he was fucking picking a fight. And we were just like, oh, fuck no. And then the worst thing is, is they, you know, he gets dropped and they turn on you as well. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So yeah. we have to fucking negotiate out of this situation. But we got no way to do it. But he's enormous. So we were just like, don't, you don't want to mess with him. He's a fucking mate. The cunt flogs everyone. You know, we're, just like, we're bluffing so hard, <laughs> you know? And we're just like, oh, his dad's a bikey. You know, don't touch him. <laughs> oh, you know? that, oh all that, this shit out, that's a classic. Know? Yeah, that's I know, a yeah. Well, I know the, the bikeys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just playing all this Gypsy shit. Gypsy anyway. jokers. <laughs> Anyway, but <laughs> it was, and, but they were rough, and they were like fucking tourists and stuff. It, it yeah, ended up we yeah. de, we fucking de-escalated, but it was very like 
it was very tourist versus out of town as sort of thing. You know yeah, it's I mean? very yeah, it is very very heavy localized and it's like stigma. Yeah, like interiors. It's because they just it's you have too much time to think there. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you, you just and there's probably not enough problems that are not your own making. Like that, you know, absolutely. It's like you drive to work, it's ten minutes, or you what? It, there's no like stress apart from just your own shit so then you're probably finding other problems you know what i mean absolutely man you know? yeah absolutely and like people who someone does something to someone and they get them back just like this tit for tat because you always see everyone yeah, yeah like it's yeah, just yeah, this yeah. kind of like i don't know like stagnant like everybody just is too aware of everybody else like and it's just they feed on the drama and they too, feed right? and yeah and you got too much time to think and everyone smokes bongs man like <laughs> like weed is like like fucking currency like oh is it? yeah and everyone's just don't tell ted bigford <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, don't tell ted that. bigford <laughs> power hose and bongs out of people's hands <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like can you give us a bit of that hose <laughs> <laughs> yeah you get something his hose like, is like I, that he's long. like i love that the kids are getting so into cleaning graffiti and people are just cutting it off <laughs> So if everyone knows each other, you mentioned that is there there's a local hangout, right? Like where everyone goes, like a local pub or restaurant. Or yeah, oh like uh, man, I think there's not really like a, not a lot of places to go. Like where you went, like that Tung Curry little spot, yeah, that would yeah. be the drinking spot. Yeah, there was yeah, a place yeah. called The Hill, which was a hill overlooking the beach. <laughs> no, Everyone's no, super creative. Like, like, Everybody's you know. super creative <laughs> out there. Like it just it amazes me. Let's go to the The Hill. Oh, The Hill. I know The Hill. Um, yeah. Come is it? Yeah. Oh, there's the Ari, the RSL. Yeah. Which is uh, pretty dank, I guess you could call it. <laughs> was that the one? I believe there was some place in Foster that in 2013 managed to make its way on the most violent venues list in New South Wales. Yes, it was either that. Yep. It's either that or the Bellevue Hotel. No, I think it was a club. It's Foster so because that's yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's pretty. It's but it's it's off there now, and it's managed mm. to do itself a little bit of image rehab because it's got like that's four great. point one stars on Google reviews from oh, a place. Really? That's that impressive, they, man, because it's a yeah. fucking shithole. <laughs> 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 you got Bigford there, yeah, fucking yeah. spraying the. We need him to spray uh, the spray violence. The one star review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 look at the menu. What do we have? Chicken <laughs> crimpy pie. <laughs> Um, you'd, got, be, you'd be there in a second. <laughs> yeah, it's just short crust pastry. I, I, got, uh, pretty much. I got some reviews. I think this is Foster. I'll just double check. I'm pretty sure this is Foster Leagues or Foster RSL. I think it's Foster RSL. Yeah. But a one star review from uh, then staff at the bar were nice. Security yelled at us for finishing our drink before, called us girls, then walked us out. Incredibly real. But that was from Sky. Wait. Which is a girl's name, you know, <laughs> Sky with an E at the end. And I'm like, I don't really understand what's going on. Cance- here, you know? Cancel the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Go then also, him. Terry Stigler wrote um, Stiggles. Poker Machine's biggest rip off on the coast. <laughs> <laughs> you never win. <laughs> what? One star. Classic Stiggles, <laughs> eh? Stiggles. Oh, man. Fuming. Just shaking <laughs> on the <laughs> coast. I love how he's up and down the coast. Yeah, he's tested every poker room he's in doing the fucking the country. Oh, my God. This Terry one, Stiggles. This one's from Ricardo. Excellent, well cooked food. Gravy is delicious. Great night out. One star. <laughs> 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 Ricardo's on. But uh, and then uh, and then Janice's uh, aircon not good messages, enough. Eh? When boots scooting for hours, <laughs> everyone had to use personal fans to overcome the heat. So I don't know what Dance and Janice is doing, but she's got those little fans. <laughs> Like she's busting moves. Doing the nut push. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Those little like personal fans. Oh, everyone everyone oh. had to use them. That's awesome. Uh, oh. And then this one it's was... outrageous. This one was weird, Bernard. So apparently there's a Thai restaurant there. And Bernard is blowing gaskets. One star. Visually awesome club. Blah, blah, blah. But we felt like having a Thai meal. So we went there. However, um, ha- like, however having eaten Thai, thai before... Uh, no, he th- hasn't. Having eaten that type of food in Thailand, I oh. can only say what I received was below Adventure. average the best. <laughs> <laughs> the beef of the jungle curry was tough. It was made a supermarket sizzle steak, da da da. And uh, the, the curry was what could only be described as Thai commercial. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. Man, you're in fucking Boston <laughs> <Thai> curry. <laughs> and he's like, oh, this isn't. This isn't authentic Cook enough. Cook your own Thai, Bangkok man. street food. 
Um, there, know, there can be no uh, excuse uh, for any chef. Yeah, exactly. No he's Welsh, well travelled. He's had yeah. a hand job in Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, this did not end in a happy ending for me. You know, uh, there can be no excuse for any chef who has pride in his work to present the meal such as I was given. Oh, oh. No chance oh. And I was I this kind of audacity. It, this sounds like Ted Bigford. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> in my mind, this is what yeah, Ted yeah. Bigford fucking one, sounds. One audacious. star, one review. So the cunt has created an account for this. You know what I mean? Like he's it's not like he's a reviewer. Oh, he's up in arms. He's blown. And he just wants to tell everyone how we went to Thailand. I know. <laughs> Oi. Do you remember that time we went yeah. to Thailand? I've yeah, yes. <laughs> I've yes. actually been outside of Foster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you about it. That's Make a, me that's the mayor of Smuggler's Cove. It's <laughs> oh, a pretty fuck. big big adventure. And then uh, just quickly, Thailand. John Boucher is blowing gaskets about the chicken burger, one star. And he said the chicken, they pre- they prepared it with, the, with their bare hands. Uh-huh. They handled the chicken meat in the burger. Uh, da 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 the whole thing was great not wanting to cause a disturbance I took the plate when they gave it to me and threw it in the bin <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. and it's like so he just like dramatically just slammed yeah how did he bin. actually do it I don't want to create a disturbance <laughs> yeah. here, throw it at the a, fucking chef and they made a new Air Jordan logo <laughs> yeah. Yeah. shame Foster shame well speaking Foster. of oh, speaking God. of Foster institutions that have uh, gone through a bit of outrage uh, Stokes have you heard of the uh, Beach Bums Cafe I have. Beach Bomb Cafe made national news, and by that I mean it was on news.com.au uh, back in 2018 <laughs> because social media users like did a huge attack on the cafe for charging for chicken salt. Yeah, I um, do. I do recall. So the story, oh, yeah, so, that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pitchfork. So the, yeah. So this story goes: they were charging twenty dollars for the salt, and then like for some reason it went viral on Reddit. People were saying it was un Australian, and then the cafe had to release a statement being like people were coming from other cafes with their hot chips and just asking for salt. Oh, <laughs> and oh, it's like, oh, oh man, that's a low dog move. And they're like, people don't understand. You buy chicken salt by the kilo, it costs this much. So after a while, once people pay 20 cents on the dollar, like they, it racks up, and you're like, that is. Fair, I guess, yeah, but it yeah. seems so petty. It's yeah. so petty. It's yeah. so Foster. So you've yeah. got too much time to think. <laughs> yeah, 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 They're yeah. like, wait, uh, can you believe like it? Well, this, off I mean, yeah. yeah, this is the statement which makes it sound petty. The charge that is displayed on our menu board is for customers who bring food into our venue, purchase from our competitors, and ask us to put chicken salt on it for them. Chicken salt is around twenty-two dollars two kilo box in parentheses for us to purchase compared to regular salt at one eighty-two for the same volume. So for the average surge of chicken salt at twenty grams, the cost price is twenty-two cents. Considering that the customer hasn't purchased us in the f- purchased from us in the first place, I don't find this an unreasonable charge. It's like. Ted Bigford owns this cafe. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigfoot, man. Too, too much fucking time. It is. Crunching it, numbers. It's yeah. too. Yeah. See, this is very petty. It's very oh, classic Foster. Oh, just oh, looking, it. looking for things to like meddle in, and yeah, people yeah. are like, it's just because it's like it's like too much time, man. Yeah. And it's because it's so like such a beautiful play. Like physically, it's like a sweet little charming little town, and right. you know, it's not like it's all built up and there's. You know, people are fucking, you know, uh, in an hour of traffic and all, like like I said. And then, so your life's so perfect and then you're sitting around and then you're like, all right, I can drink all day or I can start a fight, you know? Like, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. human nature to yeah. find yeah. problems. When yeah, yeah, absolutely, on. man. And like, you just kind of like socially, you just, it's like going in circles. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah. Like someone did this, like the, the fucking, the chick, like the chicken salt time. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, someone yeah. at another cafe might have got... They all, everybody knows everybody, and it's not really conducive to like <laughs> good. It's like a social experiment. It's yeah, like a, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. It's it a is people, yeah, it's a run. fucking petri dish, man. Show there's not, cameras. absolutely, and there's not enough visual fucking stimulation. Like, there's not enough noise, and there's not enough like movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did, I did kind of want to ask about that because you mentioned it a little earlier as well. So, like, everyone knows everybody. So, there must be some kind of weird dichotomy between like the dorks of like Bigford and Shuffles and the people who live in Smuggler's Cove who just seem like absolute animals, yes, right? Like yes. there must be something where they're like fuck like Oh absolutely man. Like the fucking It'd be like the RSL regulars versus Yeah, yeah. Else. Yeah. And every time you go to a small town RSL, you go in there and there is just that crew of fucking people who are like they're like they're barnacles on the bar. They, you know? like they are fucking absolutely and they're, attached and you, to and the bar. You know that they've yeah. been there every every fucking, fucking day. day, and they hate change. <laughs> yeah. They and hate all, change. And they man. all like 
secretly hate each other, but they all know each other so yes. well. And they all like, oh, fucking Frank's having another fucking burner. And they just yeah. hate... They're like family in that yeah, weird yeah. way where they're stuck together, but they also yeah. have no reason to be friends. Oh, absolutely, from just man. Just being close to each oh, other. You absolutely. You're drinking another carton draft, are you, Frank? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're drinking carton draft too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, shut up. You charge me for the chicken salt prick, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you got the shittest banter. <laughs> yeah. too. Like, they're just like, it's, on it's real obvious banter, yeah. too. Like, oh, oh someone's got a rashes. Oh, oh rashes. Look at rashes. Like, they fucking call you rashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking like, yeah, like, like sherbs like and yeah, like shuffles. Yeah, and like yeah. a craft pale ale, like you're having a rash. Oh, here oh, he is. Right. Oh, Someone's fucking, going a bit outside fucking the bit lines. Fancy boy over here. <laughs> like, hey, everyone, fancy boy. Yeah, yeah, and it's just, and it's pretty funny, but like, just the names of, like, you know. I get. I draw a lot of that shit yeah, for my yeah, yeah, stuff. For sure. know, yeah, Melted right. Chris is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> this guy called Melted Chris. Sometimes he got fucking sunburnt once. <laughs> they called Melted Chris with, to this day. <laughs> Just like that's so funny. so heavy. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that'll should, probably do it. We should wrap it up. Yeah. Is there anything um, you, like Harrowing Films on Instagram? Are you, you, that's yeah. your main platform. Yeah, man. At the moment, yeah, I got some shit. stuff coming out. I just I've been a bit bit lazy in yeah, isolation man I've been, I've been yeah, yeah i got the old, <laughs> the, the old foster <laughs> fucking ghost haunting me <laughs> like isolation is bad for me like i haven't been creative i've i've I have all this fucking spare time yeah and i've wasted it oh, which wow. is classic yeah. foster yeah. so i guess yeah, it yeah, yeah. It's not, not the around. hero's journey, but like <laughs> <laughs> the fucking zero's journey. Uh, but, but yeah, man, Harrowing Films, Instagram. Sick, man. Uh, yeah. And one final question. Yep. So Harrowing Films is the most successful account on Instagram ever. You've gone on to make uh, the best comedy skits in your life. When all is said and done, would you move back to Foster? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that'll do. <laughs> we'll see you next week, everyone. Thank you so much, guys. Thank yeah. you.